What's up, fellow modders? This is that brown bat back for another episode of Mod Messing, and today I am going to show you how to increase your character's skill points. What? Yeah. You ever think that Hulk was too low in power? I have. Have you ever thought Thor was too weak? I have. Especially since those two are supposed to be the creme de la creme of the entire collection. So let me show you what we got going with Thor. I am ready. All right, so let's go to his skill tree. And of course, I have 12 left. I didn't calculate out. I don't like having extra leftover, but uh, never, nevertheless. Um, that's all maxed out. That's all maxed out. That's all maxed out. That's all maxed out. How about we take, uh... He's already OP. But! Yeah, Iron Man here. Nice to how about you. we take him to the max? So I'm gonna do a little bit of math here. And I'm gonna give him an extra... Calculate extra points. For how much, uh... Extra stuff he needs to buy. Two... Five, nine, forty-five, fifty. So fifty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you where to go. Again, if this is your first time modding, this should not be your first venture out in modding. Um, start with the basics, and I will put links again. And uh, I think to add to that link, you want to check out this uh, YouTube channel called Beyond Carl. I'm going to check him out. Um, I don't know him, but uh, he's doing some good uh, modding tutorials, uh, starting from the beginning and explaining things, I think, a little bit better than I can in some areas. So, easiest way to not do that. Easiest way to get to your assets folder, again, just right click on the game on your Steam and properties, local files, browse, and that takes you right to it. And it opens it on your bottom bar. All right, so I'm going to go into assets, and then you're going to want to go to GameDB. Now, if this is your first time doing that, you're not going to have half these folders because they're zipped up and you have to follow the tutorials on how to unzip them. All right, so now I'm in GameDB. You want to go to the file or the folder called Core. Okay, and then from there, all right, uh, depending on what game the character came from, it's going to be their prefix. So, uh, what I mean with game, I'm not talking about Empire or Clone Wars type prefixes I'm talking about Disney Infinity 1 2 and 3 so if I say I n see I n 1 you're gonna come up with all the infinity 1 characters Anna uh, Anna's tool set Elsa uh, Bob if you don't who's Bob Bob's uh, Bob uh, Parr uh, I think this is his last name that's uh, Mr. Incredible um, so they don't all have their typical names uh, that you know them by. Um, other characters are in here that you they're not even playable. Uh, I guess at one time they were. Um, you see they have uh, Rigetti's in here, but <laughs> from Pirates. So, I'm doing uh, Hulkbuster Iron Man, so that'd be IN3. Type it fast. IN3, there we go. Now let's find the second prefix so will be AVG, so Avengers, Hulkbuster, and it's not the premium version because, well, premium version is, uh, you can get them to play, um, you just have to do some modding and I've not done that. But anyway, I'm going to take Hulkbuster, the Lua file, and if I open it, of course, it's just a bunch of uh, encrypted code. So I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to put that in the folder that I use for uh, Unloa C, which is on my C drive. All my 
game installs are on my D drive, and it's a pain getting command prompt to open up another drive other than C. It's not impossible, I just always forget the code, and it's just easier. So I'm just going to paste the copy of that in there, and I want to copy the entire name of that. Okay, and if you've seen the other tutorials that I did, what I do is I have this template on a notepad. And the first thing that I have to do is open up command prompt. Alright, and just to recap, once you open it up, you have to first put in CD space uh, the path of where the unlua uh, the uh, on Lua C file is, and I just, which is for me, it is in my on Lua C workstation, which is right here. And it's looking for on Lua C JAR. It's a Java based file. And, but I've already covered that in tutorials, and Beyond Carl covers that as well. So, can't do that every episode. You know, can't reiterate everything every episode. So, so I showed you a trick that I do once I have the template down for the next entry, and that is after you have Java space uh, hyphen jar space on the C dot jar space, then you want the full path or not the full path, the full name of the file, and in this case. It's IN3 underscore AVG underscore Hulkbuster dot Lua space. Then you want your greater than space. And then what are you going to rename the file? Conventionally, people tell you to rename it test or something like that. But I say, I don't really care. Copy that whole line. And then I'm going to paste that again in the uh, command prompt. Now it just created a ZZZ name. And I'm going to rename that ZZZ name exactly what that original file name was. So I'm going to, again, what did I do? I hit F2 and that rename, uh, that brings up the rename prompt. And make sure you have your, I always do this. All right, make sure you have file name extensions enabled. Otherwise, you're not going to get this to work. All right, so highlight it select all of it then I delete it because I'm not going to need it anymore after I have that new one then I back this up in a couple different places in this case one place but that's fine uh, I already have multiple backups of the original game anyway and then if I go to where we got it from I'm going to override it now I'm going to open it okay so there's a lot of stuff in here. I don't know what everything is, but that's okay. Uh, I'm going to search for cost. All right. So some of them cost one, some two. It's cost what I mean, sparks. That's what I mean. So I'm going to look for the ones that uh, are more than one. And I said I want 50 extra ones. So I'm going to take everyone to one. You can take them to zero, I guess. Uh, just don't mess everything up because it'll mess up your skill tree. So I'm just going to change it to one that gives me four, you know, five minus one is four. This gives me two, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, forty-six, and four is fifty. Then I save it. Open my again. You can just change everything to one if those arrows pointing up don't matter to you. They just annoy me. It's me, Iron Man. I've been working out. I'm Iron Man. All right. Let's, get this show Let's on the see road. if my math worked. Of course, my math worked. So it gave me 30. So I don't know what the range is and why. So I want to respec. I did this with Han. I know my math is right, so it must be some of them have different variables than other. So I need 20 more. But 
Let's see how far we go. Get, I should say. Oh, we got it. Hey, hey, hey. I added correctly. All right. Totally maxed out now. And I don't have any extras. So, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Mod Messing. Thanks everybody for watching. Don't forget to give me a like before you click out. And also, if you're not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Do it, do it now! And click the bell icon if you wanna know what I'm up to before I even know what I'm up to because it helps you see into the future. And I just made that up. Until next time, this is That Brown Bat reminding you to keep on building.